to join my channel here over at subscribe so I get a mailbox from drop some comics or something in the mail. So uh, get get ready for just the darkest, darkest of day. When even the YouTube pop culture stuff is getting dark because the, the stuff they cover is dark. This isn't like the fun old days of, uh, what, what is Star Wars 2015? Remember that thing came out and people were doing fun videos and Mahler was doing those videos about Star Wars. What a different time that was. Where are we now? I don't know if you're looking at the screen, but like it's a little hyperbolic. Not really, not really. Honestly, what she's this title is uh, is is not really um it's not really a gross exaggeration. So Hollywood it turns out Hollywood actually does need human souls. Annette Bening demands that children be sacrificed. She was in the recent 2019 Bread and Circuses Captain Marvel that made a billion dollars because sheep uh, the Coomer consumer crowd. <laughs> like I I saw the movie in the theaters. Congratulations, you're a consum Coomer consumer. How do you have a YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, yeah insult the audience. Yeah, but I mean, it's like, eh, I don't think people get enough emotionally invested to sub or unsub because of, of, of me calling someone who supports that Satan worshiping industry a coomer, which I mean, you absolutely are if you support Disney. I mean, you're just partaking or Amazon or Netflix. It's just, I mean, it's an evil industry. And like, yes, you are, you are, you are sharing some of that evil if you support them. Anyway, so the white pill is that people are finally awakening to Hollywood and they're turning it off. And, you know, some of it is like they're seeing how evil it is. But a lot of it is the stuff they're making because it has to be so politically correct. It's got to hit every check checklist of some Bechtel test over here, some some glad test over here of all these talking points. It's just a formulaic checklist. So they come out with these movies and there's just nothing there. It's like, I don't know, it's, it's like a flour mixture without the pinch of salt or whatever the essential ingredient is. And it's just like, oh, this is this needs a cinnamon, but you didn't put cinnamon in it. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, it just, it's so it's, it's just flat. It's like, what the, you, you, this is a, a, a voluntary exchange is in a movie. It's like you're asking people for 15 to $20 to go see a movie and you're presenting them with stuff like Black Widow or Black Adams or, or Shazam 2 or whatever this, this crap is. And, or, and they're like, what's happening? Ah, oh, it turns out that people aren't seeing this stuff because there's just, it's just nothing to see. It's, oh, we made it politically correct. That means boring. It means some other things too, but like even YouTube is so politically correct now that I can't say the words I need to say to accurately describe something. There's a whole theory about that, about why they took the R slur and the G slur away from us because that's those two words are such great shortcuts to something. If you're talking about a movie, they go, you go, oh, so do you see this movie? No, it's it's um, it's G slur, R slur. It's like, oh, okay, well, I won't see it then. That just like sums it up. Now, I mean, now you can say soy, which is actually pretty good, but eventually they're going to try to take soy away from us too because soy actually works, works pretty well because it's kind of a combination of G slur and R slur. Anyway, so she was in that Captain Marvel movie, I guess. I mean... Great, a woman's movie with some old ladies in it. That's absolutely fabulous. That she was the sex swap version of, of, of Marvel. Um, I saw some of that movie, you know, went sailing for it, and uh, seeing some of it was enough. It's it's Brie Larson running around and green screen, and there's laser beams coming out of her hands, and it, that's about all I remember. She's on top of a bus or something. It just like couldn't you have got Keanu Reeves to do this instead of Brie Larson? So uh, she's doing this interview, and she's got a, a granddaughter that that joined up on all this uh, this BLT stuff, you know. So congratulations on on drinking the Kool Aid there. I'm sure that'll work out just fabulous for you in the next few years. So uh, now she's got an interest in the current virtue signal because she's got family, you know, involved in it. So she's got to make sure that she gets her dopamine orgasm on probably on social media and by doing these interviews by uh, getting on social media and whining about BLT rights. And I'm like, rights are a, a constitutional issue. So I'm not exactly sure like what, what, what rights don't you have? What, what exactly has the government deprived you of? What, what due process have you been uh, screwed out over? What are you legally prohibited from enjoining that anyone else is not? Is it, if it's the sports or locker rooms or the bathrooms thing, you're not prohibited from, from using those things if it's a, you know, it's, if it's a state-funded um, entity. You're, you're still allowed to use it. It just might have to be corresponding to your sex, but you're not prohibited if a, if a team, if a government school uh, university has a, uh, a soccer team, you can still go try out for it. It 
just the reasonable accommodation and the restrictions might be that, oh yes, but it's sex-based. That's like living in a society under this common law system is a balancing of, of rights and responsibilities to for, for the individual liberty for, for the most people. It's like you can't, if, if they say, yeah, we don't want men on the women's team because we feel they have an unfair advantage. Okay, but is there a men's team for them to apply for and join? Yes, that's a reasonable concept. That's a reasonable accommodation. You just you, you really can't get everything you want in life, but but they're like, but I want this and I want this and I want this right now. But it's like, but that's not fair to the, to the girls on the team who are, who want to play soccer, and you know don't want to get hurt by some you know two hundred fifty pound dude who's who's you know running around like a like a brick wall if they accidentally run into him. It's like you can try out for the for the men's team, you know. Good luck on that. Anyway, so um, some states have recently passed law that prohibit men from women's spaces and probably vice versa, but th there's the reasonable accommodations. You just use the place that matches your sex. No problem. You're not assigned sex at birth. Your external sex, your, your sex is described by a doctor quickly glancing at your genitalia. After you're pregnant, you can do a, a urine test to determine the sex of your kid because it's in every cell of your body. That's how soon... That's how soon it, it's determinative. So they, um, they're always marching around, whinging about rights, but when they're asked, they demand um, not to be the victims of crimes. But that's not really a right or an issue that is exclusive to them. And you go, okay, well, you're, you're dealing with the, the government here because you're, you're talking about rights, you know, uh, that the government is prohibiting you from doing something. So you go, so do you want harsher punishment for criminals? And they go, oh, no, no, no. We want to close the jails and defund the police and social workers and just, just open up the jails and free everybody. Okay, so what exactly do you, you want the government? You, you're seeking this redress of grievance from the government. What exactly do you want them to do? You have crime, especially in like San Francisco and L.A. and all those blue cities, Portland, Oregon. How are you guys enjoying that? Portland, uh, I mean, Seattle and uh, Portland. It's like, how are you enjoying that crime? Uh, we're, we're moving out of the city. The stores are closing. So you guys going to change the way you vote? Hawaii, Maui, you going to change the way you vote? No? Okay, then. What the... I mean, what do you want people to do? What do you have you considered? Yeah, so Biden, hi, they uh, they're interviewing the Maui people and they're going like, hey, 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 Biden, why are you uh, donating taxpayer money to Ukraine? But Maui needs help, and you, it's, you know, nice of you to come two weeks later, and uh, and then you look at me like, but you're gonna vote for all these people, like all these, all you're from the, the federal, the state level, and the county level. Everyone in Maui and Hawaii in general, y'all vote blue, and you're gonna keep voting blue. People go. It just has to keep getting worse and worse until they finally awaken and go, okay, voting voting for these these people, these like a, a guy who's in charge of the water resources who believes in equity. You go, wait a minute, are you telling me you have a county where the fire department doesn't have first priority? Like it, it, when they say, no, 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 you understand, the fire department has to ask to um, to pump out streams to fight fires. I go like, <laughs> Not in any county I would run. That's that's not even that shouldn't even be a, a checkpoint in the timeline. You go, uh, yeah, of course you you don't have to ask. You, the fire department can can uh, can use their exigency uh, circumstances situations. Call it what you will as, as part of the powers to fight fire under the you know the the, the state powers under the Tenth Amendment. You go, yeah, you just you just put your pumps up to the stream and the filters, and you you'd pump what you needed. But no, no, you understand that they water the taro fields. Yeah, but a town is, is burning down. That's like, that's not even an issue. Like, well, we made it an issue. We, we involved a step, a bureaucracy where, where the fire department has to ask this water guy and then four hours later, he gives permission. Oh, you're out of your fucking minds. What happened? Oh, hundreds of people died as a result of this uh, bureau bureaucratic step. You're crazy. I mean, everything these people are doing are crazy. No, you understand. I have a spiritual connection with the water gods. Yeah, that's crazy. Everything you're talking about is crazy. There should be no steps between the fire department running a pump to a, a stream, or or fucking breaking that down. Your your um running a running a hose to your swimming pool if they have to. Yeah, we're gonna. Hey, you got you got a hundred thousand gallons in your swimming pool. We're gonna we're gonna pump that out. It's like knock yourself out, buddy. Right this way, sir. That's that's insane. That this is all happening. I just. So uh, you guys gonna keep voting for these guys? These who is it, Mayor Green or Governor Green or all these like it's all left wing people all the way down. You're like, yeah, yeah, we're gonna vote for them next year. They got my vote, Biden again. You're crazy. Everything you say is crazy. It, people just died because of this stuff. I, everything you're doing. So the the uh, the sheriff he uh, he came from uh, Nevada, 
from that big city. I, I get a little, little bit off base, maybe. Anyway, um, I mean, all this stuff is just in, insane. They, they like they have crime, but they don't want to vote for punishment. <laughs> what do you want the government you're seeking redress of grievance from the government yes that's right you have crime yes you want a, more punishment no then get very comfortable with crime here's your pepper spray do you want a do you want a second amendment rights to be able to conceal conceal carry a piece on you no 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 no, no. okay then i don't know what you want me to tell you. I say there's no there's no possible redress of, of, of grievance we've there's nothing we, 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 even if we can't grant you anything because you haven't asked for anything concrete that is within our capabilities other than like spiritual mind control of people. You're asking for just insane, crazy, crazy things. Anyway, she's talking about all this like right wing is being against gays. And it sounds like she's talking about thought crimes, like phobias against gays and trans. Nothing is concrete. It's all phobias. And you look at these people and go, do you want to punish people for thought crimes? Because it seems like that's kind of the point, point these people are, uh, are getting to with this and um you go you know it's not the right wing that's actually doing the uh the, the assault and batteries on people like that's not happening at all anyway her whole interview is some weird virtue signal from her safe space echo chamber but she doesn't ever name anything specific it's something about trump and the election cycle between these two geriatric seniors one of whom actually is out of his mind you can determine that depending on who you vote for and then she talks about her need to delete as many babies as she can something about a soul offering in a uh, abramovic style um ceremony to serve moloch and drinking baby blood which you know if adults want to do these kind of horrible things to themselves, I guess that's kind of on them uh, because you go, well, do people have agency or not? Because if they do, then they're going to do some things to themselves that you might not agree with, but it's like, well, they have autonomy. They can do, oh, great. So you have a 60-year-old a, a woman, fat woman starring in some movie that she sex swapped for. It's like, why would you do that? Girl power, big it. Uh, great. I was going to say, how well did the movie do? But it did a billion dollars because it was a between the two biggest movies in film history. How well is the Marvels going to do the sequel? I don't think it's going to do a billion dollars. But, you know, after the Barbie, you never know. Barbie was a girl power film, um, did phenomenal billion dollars. So it might be able to ride on the coattails and do like quite a bit of money just because there's a, this girl power push right now. And there will be at least for a little while. I mean, eventually the, 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 the movies will catch up because they're just so, fr I mean, they'll catch up and start bombing because they're just so freaking bad. Anyway, um, I, you know, this is just all just it kind of a tough video to make because you don't you got to be careful talking about these protected classes on, on YouTube and YouTube is so censorious that like I think I'm not I'm going to be at the point of just putting different videos up on the Rumble and Odyssey like more based like the first based interpretation of just being honest about these kind of things. And then the YouTube version, where you have to like tone everything down so you don't you don't get a, a, a strike for. Now you said something hateful and istophobic. Oh yeah, I said people shouldn't mutilate their children. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. So you're sterilizing your kids. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. Uh, I can't help but feel that like there's something on the horizon, like some kind of cataclysmic upheaval when a society gets this out of whack, like. Yeah, the scale, I don't know, the pendulum or something is just being push, push, push. I just, I kind of wonder like what happens when it gets released and it starts coming back the other way, you know? Uh, anyway, um, I, should I even bother making this video? It's, I mean, you're talking about, you're talking about just spiritually sick people who are, who are doing biblically evil things. And, and uh, that's what I'm trying to say is I, I think we're headed towards these biblically uh, evil times. Is this Weimar? Is that what I'm saying? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all next episode.